Hey, our friends, they're going to be drawing a funny frozen dinner. Yeah, these were called TV dinners when I was a kid. We hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers, but you could use a pencil or a crayon. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. When these first came out when I was a kid, they were awesome because you had everything for your dinner yeah. right there, and all you had to do was stick it in the microwave. <laughs> so let's first draw the general shape of our tray. It's a rectangle shape, so I'm going to start over here and draw a big L shape. So I'm going to start with a vertical line going down. I'll leave some space too on the side. Then I'm going to draw the bottom really long so it's wider than it is taller. And then we can draw an upside down L to match. And down another vertical line to connect to the right side. <laughs> okay, now we get to divide up the space and add different things to our dinner. Let's first draw the largest for the main course. I'm going to come <laughs> down here and draw another rectangle shape. This is for the Salisbury steak or the, <laughs> or the beef stroganoff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there, we're also, we're also going to add an upside down L to finish that rectangle shape. I like how big you drew yours. The next time I draw a TV dinner, I'm going to draw bigger. <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw, let's draw more rectangle shapes. I'm going to draw another one up here and I'm going to draw it about this big. Now we can draw another one over here next to it. This one's smaller. Then let's draw two more over here, but I'm going to draw them this way. I'm going to come down further like this, over, back up, and then one more down here. Kind of fun practicing rectangles and squares. Oh, that looks awesome. Okay, we got all of the different sections to our dinner. Now we need to add the actual food, food, yeah, and the ingredients. Let's draw a big oval shape. It doesn't have to, it could be more like a jelly bean shape if you want. There's our meat, our meat, <laughs> our chicken fried steak. Okay. Chicken fried steak. What? <laughs> That's what it's called, chicken fried steak. Oh. <laughs> what else should we add? Peas. Oh, let's do that. We could add little circles up here. This part we should fast forward because this might take us a little while to draw all of the pieces. Yeah. Okay. We're just gonna add, fill this square with circles. circles. <laughs> now you can pause the video and take extra time to draw all of your peas. Mm -hmm. what, what should we add next? The mac and cheese. Oh, mac and cheese. That sounds really good. We could draw noodles over here. I'm gonna draw two curves next to each other like that. Come. And then we can connect the top and the bottom. And then the next time we draw another noodle, let's change the direction. So we could draw two curves like that and then connect the top and the bottom. Yeah, let's repeat that over several times, just like we did with the peas and change the direction every time we draw another noodle. Let's fast forward again. Okay. It actually looks like beans. This could be a uh, refried beans. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to pause the video to finish your mac and cheese. Okay, let's add one more. Oh, we can add my favorite, mashed potatoes. The mashed potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to just draw a cloud line that goes around inside. And then also we could add a little square for the butter on top. What's the last thing we should add? Carrots. Oh. Yeah, let's do that. Cooked carrots. <laughs> I'm gonna add a letter V and curve it around for the top. Yeah, the baby carrots. Yeah, the baby cooked carrots. Oh, these sound really good actually. I'm gonna draw another one, but upside down and then curve the bottom. Now you guys at home could really change your dinner any way you want. You could add your favorite food. Maybe there's some fruit in there too. Although you don't really microwave fruit, but yeah. It would still be fun to put apples. Oh, maybe an apple cobbler pie that thing. That would be good. I'm adding more carrots, but I'm I'm changing them so that they, I'm only drawing part of them so that, that there's overlapping. Oh, also I'm gonna add sauce around my steak.
stick here. I'm going to draw a cloud line that comes around for the sauce. Oh, it doesn't look very funny though. <laughs> we got to add a... <laughs> to the steak. A funny face! Yeah. <laughs> Let's add a funny face. I'm going to draw two circles that are big. This is for the white part of the eye. Then I'm going to draw more circles inside. <laughs> this is going to be scary. Yeah. <laughs> and then a smaller circle inside that one for the highlight. And then color in the middle circle. I don't think I want to eat steak with a eyes. Steak with a face? <laughs> <laughs> this is a happy steak. I'm going to draw a little smile and um, mouth is open. I think funny, I think food is always funnier with a funny face. <laughs> <laughs> And then I added teeth and a tongue. But you could change your your funny face any way you want. You could maybe give your steak a top hat, or uh, <laughs> you could draw, um, turn it into a unicorn. That would oh. be fun. Okay. <laughs> and it's unicorn steak. There we go. And I, <laughs> eyebrows. <laughs> Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our TV dinner. It looks awesome, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward again, but at the end, you could pause the video if you want to match our same coloring. You could also color your drawing any way you want. Yeah, especially if you changed it and added different food. All right, you ready to fast forward? Yes. Jack Goo 5, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our TV, our funny TV dinners, frozen dinners. They look awesome colored in. Yeah. I hope our art friends will take time to color their drawings too. Yeah, and I hope you change your drawings, add more things like a fork and knife or a rake. <laughs> <laughs> your fork is my favorite, slash rake. That's my favorite. <laughs> I love your funny face too on your steak. We added a little texture to it to make it look even more realistic. Uh -huh. <laughs> and also added white highlights. That's my favorite. But the rake's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> we hope you had a lot of fun drawing your frozen dinner. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And we hope you have fun changing your drawings. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.